is Marwan Assad. What I do isn't important. What I am is why my life is in danger. I was accused of a crime I did not commit. myself in a place I never thought I'd be. I am on the run. I am hunted. I am alone. Because I am the witness. In our ministry, we're committed to confronting people with the truth, the truth about the deity of Christ, the reliability of the scriptures, with the fact of the reality of the resurrection, that it might compel them to enter into a relationship with a God who is passionate about their relationship with Him. In one part of the world where there is such a need for that is in the area of what I call the truth seekers in the Arab countries and many others around the world. The witness is such a vital resource for this reason. For years, the, uh, the Arabic and the Muslim people have told their history through stories. They process through narrative. And there's been such a need from what I've understood for years for a powerful presentation of the gospel, but in a narrative form so they can understand it within their culture. So the witness was devised to have a gripping story that would be actually a page turner, you couldn't put it down. But in the context, we would deal with the four or five of the biggest barriers to a Muslim ever coming to Christ and experiencing God's love and truth. For example, the, the deity of Christ, the Trinity, the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the Bible, has it been changed or not? And so what we did was take these truths, put them into a story of a man who witnesses a murder and the disappearance of $250 million. And as a result, he becomes sought after by terrorists, by uh, crooked police, and by others as the witness to this murder and to the know-abouts of the $250 million. But in the context of that exciting story through six countries, though he's running actually from the truth, he finds the truth in a love relationship with the person of Jesus Christ. 